So last spring, Unitech announced they were making a new plotter called uh, the Tech 3. And since I have a plotter addiction, uh, I ordered the A1 model, which turns out is a beast of a, of a plotter. It is all steel, steel base, um, all stepper motors. The tool head has a linear rail to make the, the pen go up and down. Um, it is overall a very sturdy machine. It had to be shipped in a crate, um, not a box, a crate, and it came sea freight. So it took a little while to get, but um, it is a beast of a machine. So it comes with the power cable, a USB cable, some magnets. The green mat you have down there, that I have down there right now, is a, just a cutting mat that I cut to fit in there. I always use cutting mats. I found that they work really well because they give a, have a little give to them for the pin tip and the paper. So that just helps me out. And this particular model, the A1, doesn't have the paper sizes like the A3 model has on it. So I'm not covering up any paper sizes or, or guides on the bottom. Um, I would probably put this mat on it anyway because I like the, the effect that the pin has on the paper. So there you go. That's the basic overview of what, uh, what I got. Um, let's take a look at uh, some of the other performance issues. So overall, the Tech 3 plotter has a pretty good tool head. It uses a stepper motor instead of a servo, which a lot of plotters use. Um, it has a rack and pinion gear, which brings the whole carriage up and down. And that all rides on a linear rail, which is behind everything. Now, the other thing it has is a set screw over here that you can raise or lower um, to increase or decrease the tension on the pin riding along the surface. So as the pin hits the surface, it will go up and down if the surface isn't completely flat. So it's a very handy feature. Also, the little pin holder right here has a V shape in the back, which holds the pin uh, straight and vertical. So if you're trying to line up multiple colors and whatnot, it's possible with this pen holder. So there you go, good pen holder. So this is the Unitech software that comes with the Tech 3 plotter. It does a lot of stuff. It does fonts, it does handwriting, it does invitations, all kinds of stuff. But what I use is just the SVG module down here. And because I just make stuff in Illustrator or Grasshopper or whatever vector program that, that I seem to be working in that day. So you just hit the SVG mode, go to File, Open, and then I'm going to load in that sugar skull that's right there. It's the one I entered for the Halloween contest that I sadly didn't win, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Um, so let's open that up. And it loads in all the vectors, and you'll see that they're all black. Now that image obviously isn't black. It's a CMYK, so I used a cyan, magenta, and black pin. So they added this really cool mode called color, and what it did is it's not magic here. It actually, I made all these layers inside of uh, Inkscape. And so you just turn these off one by one, and now I have the yellow layer up. So I would start my plot by putting the yellow pin in, and then go over here to write, and it would export it to the plotter and run the plotter. And that's as simple as it is. And then you go to the next pin, next pin, next color, whatever. Um, the one thing I haven't been able to figure out is how to set the document size or the paper size. I usually use 22 by 30 paper or whatever, somewhere, whatever paper size I happen to be using that day. And then I center the graphic or I scale the graphic so that it fits with a nice margin on it. Um, this one I can't seem to figure out how to do that. The only way I can figure out how to move things around is by selecting everything and then right dragging by hand. So it would be nice if the software had just imported the document information and the placement of the, of the graphics from, say, Illustrator or Inkscape. So that would be a great feature to add to this program right now. Another program I've been uh, falling back on a little bit is um, Inkscape. So Inkscape's the tried and true version. Unless you're using like command line interfaces or programming everything, then you've probably used Inkscape to drive most of your plotters. So they have an, a, a nice uh, driver for this too, and it's a little better than the old one actually. So once you turn all these colors off, that's a metaball graphic I'll show you in a minute plotting. But now I just have some outlines here. So what we do is go to extensions, just like you did before, go to Unitech 3 Plotter, and hit Generate Preview. A couple things you have to do in here is just make sure your workspace is the right size. Mine's an A1 plotter, so it's bigger. The default is for A3, so you just can't have it, you have to have it in the workspace or else it'll error. And then you go to G-Code Output here, and you just want to change your COM port. My COM port on this PC happens to be COM port 6. So once you are happy with all those settings, you hit go, and it's going to go make some G-code. 
and hopefully it'll make this g-code fast. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to actually generate all the g-code if you have like thousands and thousands. So that was pretty quick. So this is a pretty cool little interface they've added. I, I really like this. So what happens is you can go and uh, open and preview different uh, things that have already been made. You can save stuff out, but mainly what I like to do is just use the print. That'll just run the plotter directly. You can jog things around. Uh, and you can pause and continue right from here or stop the whole print. So very, very handy. Also when it's running, I'm not going to run it right now, but when it's running, it'll actually tell you how many lines of code that it has to go through, how many lines of G code it has to go through. And that, that can tell you how long your plot's going to take. So if I have 10,000 or 1 million lines of code to go and I'm only here, you, you can guess about how long it's going to take to finish that plot. So that's another way to use it. So yet two ways to, to plot to the TAC3 plotter. So the third way, which I'm not convinced is a great way, but it's another way you can do, this is light burn. I have a couple of uh, big lasers over on the other side of the, the shop here. And uh, what you can do here is it's very simple to make this work with uh, the, the plotter. You set up a gerbil device over here, set up the workspace. This is the workspace of my A1 plotter. And then you go to the machine size, machine type, and there's a Z control. Now I've already enabled it here, it's usually off. So you just want to enable Z axis. That's it in, that, in the machine stuff. That enables the uh, light burn to control the, the pin head going up and down. And then you want to go to your layer. And whatever your offset is for your pin depth, I usually use like a three millimeter piece of acrylic, like this little alien head. So that would be three millimeters then, right? So I would go here to Z offset and just pipe negative three, and that would move the pin down three to draw and then back up when it's going on its travel moves. So this works. Uh, I do not know if this is a great program for plotting, but it, it's another way to do it if you want to. So there you go. There's the software options at the moment. Um, there's three different options that you can do to plot to this, and I've had success at all of them. Thanks. So let's see how fast this plotter is. I made this Metaball-like graphic in uh, Illustrator, and I made it as a torture test. Not only is there wiggles to test all the precision, but it also has hatch fills for all of the Metaballs using four different pens with a black outline. And if anybody's ever done fills with a plotter, you know they take a long time. So did this take a long time? Yes, it did. It took about five hours to do this. But on my other plotters, I have a Bantam A1, and it is a really fast plotter too, but it took about six and a half hours to do the same graphic on that. And this graphic is 20 by 20, so it's a really big graphic. So the second test I wanted to do was pure vectors, no fills whatsoever. And so I took this uh, picture that I drew of a lonely sequoia tree um, and put it into Drawing Bot. Drawing Bot's a really cool program that converts images into vectors and it helps you color separate them into different colored pens that you can put into the plotter. So that's what I did here. There's four different colors of pens that I did in this image. And it's 24 by 14 and took about three hours to do. I forget how many hundreds of thousands of vectors it was, but it was a lot of vectors for this, for this image. Um, the same file, um, just shrunken down a little bit, about 70% this size. So let's say it was... 16 by 10 um, took about four and a half hours on my axi draw with a servo um, pen head. So significantly faster. So overall, the Tech 3 is the fastest plotter that I currently have. Um, very fast on what it can do. And uh, uh, if they can add some more stuff to the software where it loads in documents and paper sizes, that would be very helpful. Um, but other than that, it's a very fast plotter.